Reserve has decided not to start tapering their quantitative easing yet. And after last week's announcement, the Dow and the S&P 500 hit all-time highs. But since then, the market has been going down. And here to talk more about that and why it might be is Len Valletta from the Albany Financial Group. Len, always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you, Liz. All right. Well, how about it? Why uh, we saw the market go up and not so much lately, although it is gaining a little today. So the initial reaction was kind of euphoric. We see the market shot up uh, like crazy after the Fed announcement. Financial markets love low interest rates. Quantitative easing is designed to keep interest rates low. So again, the initial reaction was great. But since then, people have started to think a little bit more about, well, why didn't the Fed start to taper? And I think the realization is that the economy is not quite as strong as they were hoping, and that would be the main reason for the Fed to stop tapering. Is there any chance that current events also are playing a role in what the market is doing right now? I mean, this mess in Washington? I think that's got definitely something to do with it, Liz. I think it's probably a multitude of factors, but certainly if we have a government shutdown, the ripple effect to the economy could be pretty significant. All right, talk more about that, would you, Len? Sure. I mean, I mean, think about, obviously, if people are out of work, they're not spending money. If, if we have lack of services, that's going to have an impact on the economy. And, and most likely, if it were to happen, it could be a short-term thing, um, but there's no guarantee to that. We also have the concerns that it could cause the uh, rating agencies to downgrade uh, our, our, our credit, uh, the government's credit, which could also have, obviously, a significant negative impact. And, and what are you doing or saying to your clients right now? Well, it's a challenge, right, because this has happened so many times before, and so many times we get a decision at the 11th hour. So one would think that, uh, you know, cooler heads would prevail mm -hmm. and that uh, hopefully that something would get done. But again, you know, most investors are thinking long term. So if you're thinking long term, this will hopefully just be a blip, uh, you know, on the screen. And, and are you a betting man? Do you have a bet on this one? Boy, it's a tough one, right? This, this one seems more real than the previous ones, yeah. but so, something tells me they're going to come up with a decision at the 11th hour again. All right. We'll see where it takes us, and we won't hold you to that too firmly. Uh, I appreciate but. that. Thanks. <laughs> Len Valletta from Albany Financial Group. Thanks so much for being with us today. Okay,